On a CBC, you may see something that says MPV. That's the mean platelet volume. Some CBCs will also report out something called the immature platelet fraction or IPF. To understand what these mean, it helps to understand the normal life cycle of the platelet. Here's a cartoon of what's going on in the bone marrow. Um, so a progenitor cell up here, this hematopoietic stem cell progenitor, um, this will differentiate into a promegakaryocyte, and then this will grow up to be a megakaryocyte. These guys live in the bone marrow, and then these release these teeny tiny. This is what a megakaryocyte looks like under the microscope. This is from a bone marrow aspirate, because because again, megakaryocytes live in the bone marrow. They do not circulate, um, but this has blood components because it's an aspirate. So these are red blood cells. You see some other red blood cell precursors, um, but these big guys here are megakaryocytes. We know that when platelet turnover is high, so most classically this is gonna be in patients that have acute immune thrombocytopenia, um, acute ITP, um, that platelet size on average tends to go up. And there's a couple of theories as to why this might be happening. Um, it was thought that this was due to that young platelets, platelets that have been recently um, pushed into circulation, will get slower with age. The average life of a platelet is 8 to 12 days, depending on the source you look at. Um, but there's some literature that suggests that um, actually in response to low platelet count or high platelet turnover, the megakaryocytes in the bone marrow will actually respond to that by releasing larger platelets that seem to live longer. I'm not a platelet physiologist or scientist, but as a clinician, what I can tell you is that when there are states of high platelet turnover, we do see an average increase in the size of platelets in many of those states. The most common situation in which I see an increase in the MPV is in a patient with ITP. Some folks with chronic ITP um, or folks with splenomegaly or folks with liver disease will have chronically elevated MPV. But if the increase in MPV is acute, it's usually going to be as part of an inflammatory response. Uh, platelets, um, in addition to their most well-recognized role in blood clotting, um, also have immune um, functions. And so that's why you'll see them go up in number and also up in size um, in inflammatory states. I put a comprehensive list down below in the comments, um, but if you have a normal CBC with a slightly elevated MPV, um, it's probably nothing to worry about, but it's important to consider other illnesses you might have to see if that could be the explanation. Um, and as always, a single CBC um, is a lot less helpful to understand what's going on with you than a series of CBCs and understanding the full clinical context in which that CBC was drawn.